Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again for another run and we're starting to get a nice little streak together here. We're starting to get something going on and we're going to be playing as Tainted Zack this time around. A definite fun character. Let's give him a go. He does have some unlocks of his own as well, which is rather nice. This is kind of one of the big reasons I wanted to start off this series and kind of do something a little different with... Um, having the modded characters not have all the unlocks from the get-go. Now we actually get to experience playing through these characters and unlocking their items rather than just having them. Um, and this is sort of one of the last characters I added to the series as well, so it made it even more of a reason. So, of course, with um, Snake Eyes here, we want to be using it as we power up our crystals. The more crystals we get, the higher our luck grows. Also, our mini Isaac's here just doing a great job. The higher our luck will grow. So we want to try and get up to... I, I normally like to leave it until we get up to the yellow level. But for anyone that hasn't seen this character before, essentially the way that this works is he starts with this nice little zappy green attack. Uh, and then he also has these Snake Eyes on the left. And as, for every room that we complete, we gain one of these gems that you can see just below my health there. And if you don't use your uh, snake eyes and you stack your gems too high, eventually they break and deal quite a lot of damage to you. But if you use them strategically, you can gain increased luck for each gem that you can use to get more rewards from rooms. As well as um, killing some enemies and getting some rewards for doing so. Uh, you'll see when we use it for the first time that we end up getting um, some portals that spawn some enemies. And then from those, we can get some extra rewards. But yes, just allowing it to let you stack up some extra luck is a really nice way of doing it. Ooh, we got an Eternal boss here. Um, is, a, is a pretty good way of doing it, to be fair. Because you get better room drops and also, like, tier modifiers end up working a little bit better. But today, for the question of the day, I've got a kind of interesting one that some of you might answer, some of you might not, and I'm fine if you don't want to. But what is, in your opinion, the worst thing you've ever done? <laughs> a pretty, a pretty thingy, uh, sort of harsh question. For me, I would probably say it was when I was a kid... When I was like, okay, this is pretty good. But you can see we're onto yellow crystals now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop snake eyes. It spawns some portals, which summons some enemies. But it also gives us the chance to summon some pickups. As you see, we got a card from this one. Um, but I, also what you can see is the enemies are champions. But yeah, for me, it was when I was a kid, probably around 11 or 12. I used my parents' credit card and bought a bunch of Manco keys for Team Fortress 2 and opened a bunch of crates. <laughs> I I did the whole Fortnite V-Bucks thing when I was a child, and I'm not proud of it, and I did get punished for it. I did get found out. That's probably... Obviously, I was a kid. It's not something I'd ever do now. Pro that's probably the worst thing that I've done, I think. I mean... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, like, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't like a ridiculous amount of money, it wasn't like hundreds and hundreds, but it was probably about a hundred pounds. Um, and my parents aren't exactly well off either, um, so it, it was meaningful money that they couldn't get back. Ooh, Cricket's Body is a great item to get here. For one, it's just one of my favourite items in the game anyways, but two, I think with this zappy stuff that we got going on, this is, could actually be very, very pertinent. I do wonder if the extra split tiers have the chance to zap as well. I'm going to try and clear out some extra rooms on this floor, but just, just, just because we can. But this is already a really, really fun run for me. I like it a lot, but I think as well, the longer, the more gemstones that we leave... The, um, the, the more pertinent the enemies that it spawns can be. So we do have to be careful of that. But yeah, I, I played a lot of Team Fortress 2 back in the day. I, I haven't played it as much recently. I think, for me, it kind of got taken over by Overwatch when that came out. Because it was a similar style of game. But Team Fortress 2 still has a special place in my heart. I played that game a lot. And like I said, I did, um, have quite a lot of skins in the game. Um, somewhat illegitimately. Uh, but I did have quite a lot of skins in the game and stuff. And my, my friend bought me, like, an unusual hat for my birthday one year, which is kind of funny. Ooh, we get Brimstone here. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm just going to pop this. It's not what I meant to pop. Probably not. I was just about to say, probably not a good idea to do what I just did there. But there you go. Um, I'm going to play it Risky Bisky and take Brimstone here. Um, just because we have Cricket's body and it could be pretty interesting. I'm a little bit afraid of dying here. But I think we'll be okay. Brimstone early on is always fun. But yeah, I don't know about you guys if you ever... Because I think that was kind of the first iteration, or at least the first iteration I know of, of um, like the loot crates and stuff. 
I think it was Team Fortress 2 that first introduced them, and I, I don't know if it is if it is this, but I think it, it was their success that kind of made the gaming industry adopt that as a common feature, like a common thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, that, that's kind of good, but I'll take the random. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got bombs that are going to spawn uh, mini Isaacs, I think, here. It's pretty good. Be very careful not to get hit here. I think we need to kill you rapidly. I'm a little bit worried about my HP. I'm going to try my best to um, get some more whenever I can. Try and go to the shop and whatnot. Yes, we get mini Isaacs when we use bombs. Only one, though. I was expecting two for some reason, but I'm pretty happy with that, nonetheless. And yeah, we do seem to be zapping intermittently as well, which is rather nice. I'm going to check the secret room right here. There you go, there you go. We got a random portal here as well. Just a few pennies, nothing great. But yeah, don't don't spend your parents' money, kids. It's, it's a bad idea. I did bad. I did bad. I think I also bought like GTA um, 4 as well. Do it via that same method, which was, of course, not good. I think that was because I wasn't allowed it though. Okay, it's yeah, it's spawning predominantly champions here. We gotta make sure we don't get hit by a champion here. Um. Yeah, I, th I think I think uh, it was because I wasn't allowed GTA. My parents were fairly strict about that. Ooh, we do have the sewing machines installed now, by the way. Someone suggested uh, that I like go back and try out the sewing machines because for one, they've been updated a good amount since I last played it. But also with the extra difficulty mods on and not using a donation machine, they might feel a little more balanced. And I completely agree, so I'm going to give them a go. We might end up disabling them. We might end up keeping them on. We will see. I just thought it was a good idea to revisit and not completely scratch the record with them. Okay, nice. We've actually got some health now. Very happy about that. Okay. Eternal Blood Boy. So, of course, the damage here is pretty good. Just because I think this, this guy's main issue being Eternal would normally be the sheer amount of enemies that he spawns. But that's really not a problem anymore. Because we've got a Brimstone Beam that kills them all. And then lasers that also hurt them pretty bad. We do have another devil deal here, surprisingly. Um, I will check it out because I'm kind of open to it. I'm going to do this first. And we got cyanide. That's really good. In fact, I'm going to go in now that I've got cyanide. Damocles. I would have loved to have grabbed that, but we can't, unfortunately. Um, let's pop the rest of these, see what we get. LSD. LSD. Speed up. Thank you very much. Okay, unfortunately missed out on a good old bit of a Damocles run here. I would have liked to have grabbed that, but... Hey her, it is what it is. Now we've got LSD. Oh, the speed up is very, very nice. I don't know why I said that like a. I don't know what uh, what that even was. It was some sort of pirate speak. Uh, we also got hot milk. Damage up, down, whatever. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that means, but there you go. We've got damage up, down, whatever. I guess. Careful on the snake eyes. Unfortunately, red hearts there. Not that we can tell if they're red hearts or not. But at least now we've got a, a nice amount of health. Ooh, we've got uh, one of the Eternal Champion doors. I still don't really know why they, them rooms don't spawn Eternal Champions. I feel like they probably should and my game's just bugged. But we'll, we'll find out. But LSD's making, making things a bit wacky for us. We are a little low on damage right now, unfortunately. It would be nice to... Get that going. Circle of Protection is a must grab. I can't tell if this guy's an Eternal Champion or not. Uh, I'm going to guess not based on the first attack. But I don't actually know that for sure. Yeah, we definitely need some damage. Because although we have Brimstone, it's it's decent. It's not great. I actually think we'd probably end up being do doing more damage without having Brimstone right now. Okay, got a bomb out there. Go, my mini Isaac. Go. I love having the mini Isaacs come from our bombs. That's so good. But there you go. We got circle of protection here. Pretty nice for us. Pretty nice. I'm just going to pop this now. Yeah, it can give you some good rewards. Got to be careful, though. Got to be careful. And I am being. Right, let's just push forward and see what we can do. Uh, shop is pretty decent for us here. We've not got a lot of money. We don't have any follows we can upgrade. But I still think it's worth a check. And it damn well was worth a check. Okay, so we've got Bible. We've got a genie's lamp here of some sort. When entering a new floor, you have a, chan a, a choice between all variants of that floor. You cannot take it in... Oh, okay. That's interesting. 
I don't really think it's an item we need, but I do like the idea behind it. Um, I'm a little torn at the minute between pay to play and compost. I think compost would be pretty good. I think it'd be a nice grab. Try and make sure they don't fire. We'll see if we get enough money to, to buy um, pay to play here. There you go, we did. I'm gonna I'm gonna take pay to play. It's an item I don't take very often, and I feel like it is pretty good. Check the secret room there. Got ourselves a chest there. Nice, nice. Honestly, a pretty decent trinket as well. Don't know if we'll get much use out of that, but it's nice to have nonetheless. Yeah, so let's get pay to play here. I think that gives you some money back as well, yeah. And now all doors are going to cost coins, which I feel is way, way, way easier to, to reach the um, the ask on. Hmm, I don't know where my second secret room is here. I'm going to just leave it, I think. Okay, he went straight into the water there. Kind of annoying when he does that. He did eat the bomb, though. He ate the bomb. And he's dead. Hey, damage up exactly what we needed here. Very nice to see. And I think we're just going to carry on. We're going for the lamb this run, so let's just carry on. I kind of prefer going this way with, like, modded characters and stuff anyways, because it's more unlocks to get. If we go to Mother or the Beast, we get fewer unlocks in one run, so... Okay, so let's pop this again. I haven't gotten much items from these fellas yet, but it's enough. But yeah, sort of back onto the train I was talking about earlier with the worst thing you've done. Um... Not really related to that, more related to just Team Fortress 2 in general. I know a lot of people still play that game and still like it a lot. I would like to go back, but it's one of those games now where it's just kind of... It's old enough to feel quite clunky. Um, so, it doesn't... I don't know, it's hard to go back to that game as I used to, at least. Um, I do wish I could. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened there. We blew up a, a wall somehow. But yeah, it'd be nice to go back to that game kind of as I used to, but it's not really as applicable anymore. I'm going to bomb these and just see if we get anything good. It might not be worth grabbing anything. Yeah, it's not really. Um, yeah. Um, but I, I did actually, like, really, really enjoy playing that game. And then I think just that was kind of one of the first games where I really started to get into the customization of, like, being able to tweak and customize your own character a bit. Like, it wasn't really a popular thing prior to that, I don't think. Or at least I don't remember it being very popular. So kind of when when it came about and you could do some interesting stuff, like getting name tags to rename your items and stuff, it was really fun. Like it's just it was it was fun to just have this like all on way to to customize yourself. And I remember I had uh, I used to play Spy a lot. Spy and Soldier uh, were my my two favorite classes by far. Um, and yeah, I used to play Spy a lot, so I had, like, a renamed um, version of the default knife, because I, I mainly use the default one. Um, and I called it the Devil's Turnail, which I, I, I don't know at the time I found that was really funny. Um, and, like, you can you could change, like, the text as well. Uh, so I think mine was, um, it's like magic, but you don't see me before the trick, something along those lines. I can't remember the exact wording of it, but it was something along the lines of, it's like magic, but you don't see me before the trick, which my, my like, 12-year-old brain was like, whoa, this is so cool. I thought of the coolest name and description here, which probably now, looking back on it, is, it was a little bit cringy, but oh well. More snake eyes. My god, there's a lot of enemies here. Holy shit. That's a lot of boys. But where's that item room at? Seems like this is a pretty rock-solid run, to be honest. I don't think we're going to have to worry too much. We're just going to make sure that we don't uh, overload on our crystals and don't hurt ourselves. But otherwise, looks like this is going to be a pretty smooth sailing run, to be honest. Which I'm not mad about at all. I mean, getting Brimstone very early on is a, a big help to that. Ooh, and we got the Cursed Dice. Rerolls one of your curses, grants a curse if none are active, and we get a half Black Heart, so... Pretty interesting. It's a, a nice way to generate HP, but it is going to constantly be changing up our curses, which is intriguing to say the least. I'd like herming so that uh, Crooked's body is a little more effective, but honestly, probably asking for a little too much at this point. We've already gotten quite a lot. Um, we've seen our item room and shop at this point, so I think we're good to just kind of bail. We've also got a card that's going to pretty much insta-kill the boss. 
But yeah, I like the idea behind the space bar. It seems a little strong, but honestly, rerolling your curse could be kind of confusing and cause some issues. So on the other side of it, I understand that it has a pretty big downside. And the fact that obviously if you don't have a curse already on the floor, it's going to give you one is, is another sort of big downside there. Don't know why I blew that up. There was a, a fireplace right there. Okay, we got Eternal Frail. Which obviously his first phase isn't really the problem, so we'll figure out what his second phase does. Luckily with the Eternal bosses, a lot of them are, like don't have a lot of extra HP. So it's not going to cause us some massive issues. Uh, nice, we got Star as well there, very much like that. And we carry on down. Didn't even need to use my, uh, my card there. I'm going to save it for a, a more relevant boss, I think. One that's a little trickier. Uh, we'll open these two. Yeah, being able to open those with keys is, uh, with pen pennies, sorry, is very, very good. Makes pay to play very powerful. Good. Do that. That was just me being an idiot today. Also, I am very, very excited today because... I mean, I've got a few good reasons to be quite happy today. So, for one, I started the day, obviously, just starting work. Um, and work went really well um, so far. I've not finished work yet. I'm like recording in my lunch, but um, it's going well so far. Like I had to, I had to do some writing up of a few things, and it was e easy breezy. I stuck on some Spotify, went well. Um, sh showed showed um, a few people at my work to see if they approved, and they seemed to be very approving. So very happy days on that front. Then I, after that, I played a little bit of Call of Duty with my friend, uh, just because we had a little bit of time before our lunch. And it went extremely well. We played a single game of Warzone and won, which was, like, unprecedented. I mean, it's happened before, but it doesn't happen too often. Uh, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, and then, later on today... Ooh, we got Red Stew. Very nice. Ow. I don't know how I didn't get hurt there. Um, I'll take that as well. Ooh, yes. I'll grab that. Um, yeah, and, um, later on today, I am going on, like, a little sort of date night with my girlfriend. We don't often sort of go out together. Uh, I mean, we've been going out, like, over eight years now, so it's not like we need to go on date nights. We're kind of, we've hit the, uh, the part where it's just, like, you don't have to sort of go on dates all the time. Although, it's nice when we can, so, also, she works a lot, so we don't often get much opportunity to do so. But, we're going tonight, and we're going to, uh, a place that we've, we've not been before, but... The 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 kitchen, the, the people that make the food are somewhere we've been before, but, but elsewhere. They've, like, done food at other places we've been to, and it was incredible. So we're really excited for the food. Um, It's called salt and pepper chicken, which obviously sounds pretty standard, but they do some just amazing food. Amazing, amazing food. Um, So, yeah, I'm really excited for that. We need to find our secret room, really. Uh, let's 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 focus on that a minute. So I think it's probably here, right? Second secret room. Yeah, good, good, good. And we got 99 bombs. Not very good, really, at the end of the day. But I mean, honestly, considering we got the cyst bombs, I won't actually say it's bad. It is still okay, but it's it's not really what I was looking for. We also haven't found our item room yet. We've skipped out on a lot here. Um. Okay. Pop snake eyes again. Grab that. Okay, we're seeing all these keys, but I don't actually need any of them. I also haven't really decided... Oh, God. Ooh, a little bit of a spicy room there. That's an interesting one. I haven't really decided where I'm going to use this red key yet, this cracked key. I don't think it's... I don't really think there's anywhere specific I need to use it, so it's just kind of wherever I feel. Ooh, Eternal Boomfly. Wow. Holy shit, that's a big explosion. My goodness. What the hell? Also, tears up is pretty nice there, but that is a ridiculous explosion. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere near that big. Um, I'm actually a little confused right now on where um, our, our, our room could be. I'm going to try. Okay, no, I can't try there. Um, I'm going to try... Oh, I can't try there either. Okay, so I did. I did remember to come and get this at least. Okay, let, let's try that. I said I, I was gonna. I was gonna say I doubted that was our eternal champion room. Uh, I think. I think your room. Sorry, red room. But I thought I'd try it anyways. What the hell? Um. Okay. Let's carry on. 
Let's carry on. Yeah, one thing I might do with the sewing machine is, as I said before, I might tweak it a little bit just to change some of the values. I feel like they're in a decent spot, but they show up very often. Like, they show up in, like, every other shop. And I think they should be a little less common than that. You should be getting, like, max of one pair run, really. Okay, Mr. Dolly is fantastic here. And the triple soul heart, too. Um, I think we'll just go for this. So we got Abyss Bombs, which is very good with 99 bombs. And honestly, oh, Cold Blood is pretty bad. And we got Book of Belial, which is also not great. Okay, whatever. Um, the, the Cold Blooded one, if you don't know what that item does. By the way, I have had people request that I take a little bit of a longer look at some of the modded items. I do apologize if I skip over them. Um, I will try to explain them when I can. As I said, this one re-rolls your curse, um, but it gives you half a black heart, so it's kind of interesting. Um, what's some of the other modded ones? This this one's going to give us um, locusts when we use bombs. This one it doesn't actually work with uh, brimstone, I don't think. Also, our damage is ticking down right now, so I need to be quick. Damage up per kill chance to take triple damage and reset the buff. It's, it's going to motivate us to not get hit, but it is going to be a little tricky. Also, I am going to be using bombs a lot right now because our bombs have ridiculously good effects as you can see we got like a group of locusts there they got just a few pennies there and yeah we can just get a ton of locusts here with 97 bombs we might as well just spam them pretty much what hit me then I didn't see it's fine it's fine Yeah, I don't know what hit me then, but that happens to me so often now that I've just accepted that it was just some creep or something or like a fire that shot me that I didn't see. I never actually know, but that's what I'm going to blame it on. But yeah, also we're going to have a nice suite of mini Isaacs pretty much all the time here. a soul heart but yeah like look at the amount of locusts we got the locust bombs as a devil deal item are pretty pretty incredible they're like i wouldn't say they're that overpowered because obviously you do require to have bombs to make it work but the actual amount of flies you get when you have bombs to make it work is pretty incredible hey a burn heart nice that's pretty good What floor are we on now? Depths 2, okay. That time we just got a card there. Gives you three full heart containers. Uh, we don't need that right now. We could go and play the blood donation machine, I guess, but it's in a pretty of a precarious spot, in my opinion. Let's just try our best to not get hit, shall we? Hey, some extra pennies here for opening doors is very nice. We'll bomb you, because why not? Even more pennies. Beautiful. And then here, killing enemy grants you a small damage up. Yay! That's really... Now we have two different items that give us scaling damage ups for when we get kills. That's pretty cool. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay, we've got to make sure we don't place bombs before the room ends. Because I, I have a mod that clears the room of any player tiers. Um, when it finishes, just to reduce lag, but it does also, unfortunately, get rid of your bombs. So if you place a bomb, then the room ends, it removes your bomb. It's a slight glitch with the mod, but it's not really something that can be avoided. So it is a little unfortunate. Sometimes we're going to end up losing a placed bomb if we defeat the room too quickly. Let me check this out. Okay. We got a shop. We'll check it out. We don't need to, but... I will check it out. Yeah, we just have a ridiculous locust army right now. It's beautiful. Found another speed up? Unfortunately not. Ooh, this is good. Uh, killing champions has a higher chance of giving us pickups. That's also really nice. I like both of those muchly. Beautiful. The fact that it can give you any locust as well is crazy. Because the explosive ones are just so much more valuable. Yes. Champions having an additional chance to drop extra pickups is pretty busted here. Ooh, shit. I almost buggered up Snake Eyes there. I don't know if you saw that. I got over to the red crystals. Once I go above red, 
you're going to get some shit happening to you. I'll take this, actually. My toast is pretty good. Um, we, we've seen our item room, right? I think. Yes, we have. Yes. Hey, that was a good bomb. Ah, see, our bomb disappeared. Um, I'll take the negative. We'll go in here. Let's have a look what we got. Ooh, we got doubled Monstro's Lung or Sinus Infection. Now, this is difficult because Monstro's Lung is really good. I don't know if having two Monstro's Lungs does anything. Let's see if we can find that out. Um, Monstro's Lung. I wonder if it stacks. It'd be curious to find out. Um... The, uh, it's, it's hard. It doesn't specifically say at the minute, I don't think. Interactions. It should be on notes, right? Each tier has independent chance to fire tier effects, multi-shot effects. Um, the thing is, obviously, it'll make our charge time really long as well. So it's kind of difficult. Hmm, I think I should just take Bugger Tears just to be safe. Just because I don't know if it'll actually work. And Bugger Tears definitely will. And, and it'll also just make our tier rate really slow. Oh god, these guys are jumping. That means they're doing some brimstoning. Yeah, no thank you, buddies. We are doing good damage to them though, which is nice. We can keep re-rolling our curses to, uh... I got Brimstone from across the map by Monstro. Um, to get some extra black hearts. I like the way he's jumping directly onto the bugger tears again. It's so funny. Okay, Reap Creep. Hello. It's kind of funny that Reap Creep doesn't spawn on the wall. Yeah, and also, Reap Creep never expects you to be on the side of him. I think um, Reap Creep is added by the expanded um, boss rush mod. Same with like Conquest and stuff here. I think a lot of these... Um, oh, God. This is interesting. I'll try and take this guy out first. Okay, got you. And here we go. This is, we're, we're getting on pretty well. We're getting on pretty well. And also, this doesn't take up our snake eyes, so we don't have to worry about that either, which is nice. There's probably a few bosses in here that have boss armor that are going to be a bit of a pain. But otherwise, things are looking pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, God. The bloody mask got me. It's okay. We're only taking half damage so far, so it doesn't really matter. And also, one thing you'll be noticing, too is our damage is slowly stacking. One thing we do have to be aware of right now is with the curse we currently have, we can't see um, what our health is, which means if we take triple damage from Cold-Blooded, we're not going to know about it. Okay, cool. We, we haven't been taking triple damage so far. It is only a chance to take triple damage, so... But yeah, our damage will be slowly but surely stacking. A Loki over there. I like uh, playing with like Brimstone or anything we can shoot over rocks because we can keep all the rocks in place so the enemies can't hit us, but we can still hit them perfectly fine. We've also got a red poop in a perfect position there to deal some extra damage to enemies. Rather nice. Unfortunately, it didn't, didn't deal much damage to the bloat there. But unfortunately, we just saw our damage got reset there. And another unfortunate thing as well here is that we're not really getting that much damage per use. Pet kill, sorry, because normally it'd be accounting for normal rooms, not for bosses, so we're getting a bit less than you normally would see. I actually think, unfortunately, that red poop's in just the wrong place for it to not activate and not actually hit the enemy. We managed to garner more HP than we came in here with, right? Pretty good. The pile. And this is the stim. This is the stim. Oh, also, why aren't I using bombs more, you may ask? 
It's because I forgot that I could. I should be using these, like, rapid time all over the place. And also we can use Brimstone to push them into enemies, which is kind of great. Hey, and we got Scapula there. It is what it is. Let's carry on down. Uno momento. Uno momento. Let me pause real quick here. Let's continue onwards. Okay, so we actually brought our soul of Maggie with us here, which is kind of interesting. Ooh, I'll definitely open these up. Most certainly, sir, most certainly. But yes, let's just try and, like, whack bombs pretty much everywhere we possibly can. No matter what. I'm probably going to hurt myself with them a good amount, but at this point, I don't really care. And we'll just keep stacking damage and hope we don't take a triple damage hit at any point. I mean, even if we do, we're at most going to take three hearts, which right now with our health isn't going to matter, so it's not a big problem. Damn, I need to stop placing bombs at the wrong time. Ooh, that guy was a rainbow, dude. We got a moon card, a stars card. One of these chests with a black sack in it. I'm just going to take the moon card and get the hell out of here. Okay, crack both of those open. Tower. Transforms all pickups into dips. Ooh. And enemies. I'm going to try that with enemies. That's going to be fun. Let's just get out of here and find, like, a big room to use that in. That's going to be a fun one, definitely. Okay, keep moving on. I just want to find one room that's either a big room or just a room with a lot of enemies in it. Oh, I did take a triple damage hit there, as you saw. And I lost a lot of damage for it, too. That was unfortunate. But we'll regain the health reasonably quickly. We don't have to worry about that too much. It's just a little bit of a shame, is all. To lose that damage up. God damn, some enemies are just dying instantly upon the room starting. Got a trinket out of that bad boy. You're not quite what we want. Oh my god. You're spawning as champions that you're killing your own brethren. You're just silly. You're just silly. So it looks like we're not using it this floor. Unfortunately... I was going to say, unfortunately. Uh, to be fair, we're killing him super quick. I was going to say, we're in a bit of a bad position to fight this guy, but we're really not. He's dying very, very fast. It does not matter. We managed to build up our damage quite high already, as you can see. Get some extra money there. Good, good. Whore of Babylon is actually a perfect take here. Let's grab it. I'm going to just get rid of that burn heart to make sure Horror Babylon's active. Okay, uh, I think we're good to go. Let's continue onwards. Try and find a good place. He's at Ace of Clubs. Is it Ace of Clubs? Ace of Cups, I think. Sorry. And then there's our cards. Okay, we've got another moon card we can just grab straight away. That's nice. Okay, this guy's eternal. Let's be careful. Let's use these metal blocks to keep ourselves safe here. Because otherwise we're going to have a hard time. We get the quarter. Not good for us at the minute, but it is nice. Oh, wait. I've lost my ace of clubs. Where did it go? It's back in the starting room. He has been forgotten about. I apologize. I like the way I can just spawn any variety of enemies. I hope I don't pass my way through a big room on my way back to get this card. That would be big sad. Oh, God. That was close. More black hearts for us. These enemies are a pain. I keep forgetting we've got deep pockets as well. There it is. There's our bad boy. Eternal Dippy. No thank you. And Dingle. No thank you. We are speeding. Of cups. Used the wrong bloody one. There's my voice over there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, used the wrong bloody one there. Um, pe people say, and I I'm saying people, I mean never named specifically. Comments saying, oh, well, your card switched back when you picks it up. Yeah, but it fucking well shouldn't. <laughs> when I when I pick up um, a card, I don't want it to be the first thing in my active slot. I'd rather it be my item. 
I, I kind of understand why it is the way it is, but I don't like the way it is. I wish it was reversed. That's lost coin. Nice little luck penny there. Yeah, I gotta say, I wish it was just... It, it, like, instead of, instead of when you pick up a card, it becomes the active thing in your slot. If... You have a pocket active item. I'd rather my pocket active item stay as the thing in the active slot. And the, then I have to press control to get to my card. Yeah, everything's just dying quickly here. Might use that a little earlier, but it's okay. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good uh, trinket there. We'll grab that. Oh, there's another enemy left. Hello. I love that. I get Cares of Darkness and just like, nope, go away. Oh, double crawl space. Get crawl space this floor and next floor. Boil baby, why not? I like it. That having that enemy in this crawl space is pretty cool. I like that as a design for the room. That's a good idea. Now let's take this. Ooh, is this eternal champion uh mum's heart? Ah, 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 the bomb. Damn it. I keep placing bombs wrong. Help me. Circle protection's also helping a ton. There you go. We got her. We got her. Got ourselves a soul heart as well. Hushy, hushy, hushy. We can do hushy, 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 right? Have a little look, see what you've got going on. Lump of coal is perfection itself. Walking into a bomb chest opens them for free. It's kind of interesting, but not very useful for us right now. I will try and do hush, I think. Most certainly, most indubitably. Oh, we got a big chest. Nice. Oh, damn it. I was hoping for items, but oh well. It is what it is. At least we got some HP there. Good, good, good. Over 100 money there. Nice. Car battery is very good for us here. Hey, we can actually upgrade uh, Boil Baby here. Get upgraded. Nice one. We'll grab that as well. We'll grab that as well. We'll grab that as well. I think we just go Midas Touch here, unfortunately. I am going to bomb all these rocks to try and find a crawl space before using my card. Just because I might as well bomb them anyways because I want locusts. I do have a limit to how many locusts I can get, so I'm probably hitting the limit pretty hard here. Damn, no crawl space. No crawl space. Let's just spawn one then. Doppel baby. I actually don't care about doppel baby. That's that's a, a chance to get hit for something I just do not care about. Anyways, let's go fight the boss. Actually, let's do snake eyes first. See if we can get a card out of it. Unfortunately, we didn't, but I had to try. Was that, wasn't anything else in the shop we wanted, was there? There is a scratcher. I'll play a scratcher. That's some extra money at least. Why not? I'm not going to play into my donation machine at all. So as you can see, Boil Baby is firing absolutely rapid now. Also, Lump of Coal here. Huge damage increase for us. I think Bugger T is going to do a good job here. But do remember, Hush has a bit more boss armor than regular. It, not much, because obviously Hush already had a lot of boss armor. So it's only a small tweak. In fact, I don't even know if it adds any. I'm just assuming. It might not add any. Because Hush already did have a lot. I think Circular Protection is going to help us a lot here. Um, we should actually try and get close just to make sure our Locusts do something. So they're not going to do anything if we stay far away. We lost pretty much all the locusts now. Luckily, it wasn't Eternal Hush. I don't know what sort of attack patterns he has, but I can imagine it's something pretty scary. But now we can actually stand back with Lump of Coal. Deal a little bit more damage. You can see we're not doing anything crazy, but it's also not bad either. 
I mean, and also circle of protection every now and again, firing some tears back and our pepper destroying some shots too. It's all good. It's all good. I think we've got a pretty easy breezy hush fight, to be honest. Yeah, I'm quite liking Boil Baby doing its thing, because I think... I don't know the precise upgrades, but I think normally Boil Baby only attacks when near enemies, but it seems like, at the minute, Boil Baby has some passive attacks, where it's just passively spewing out shots. Oh, we took triple damage then. We, we just lost 3.82 damage. That is very unfortunate. Not only could we not really deal with triple damage there, we don't, wanna, we don't want that at all, but also... Losing 3.8 damage on this fight is not something we want. Okay, he has summoned many a fool. But, the further you stay away from us, dude, the better for me, at least. Not for you. Probably worse for you. But, honestly, we're getting so many bugger tears on this guy that's fine. And the amount of kills we just got, actually, I've just noticed. The amount of kills we just got has just kind of saved us. And I got hit again, so I lost all that damage. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Ignore me. But we got him. He's fine. We got him. And we'll head down. Just let's be careful, because I, I reckon our HP is going to be relatively low now. Uh, it's still over two bars. That's, that's, that, it's still onto the second bar, which is pretty good by my books, actually. I was expecting it to be under one bar. Uh, like, below two bars, should I say. But we're going to gain that back pretty quick, remember. Especially now that we're getting a full... Uh, black heart every time we use this four room charge for a full black heart is pretty insane So right, I feel like I feel like that hit there in that situation. I did literally nothing wrong I, I don't know how I was meant to avoid that Like I'm gonna have to review the footage on some of these to see if it is just me being an idiot But I feel like that one specifically I just walked into the room and just instantly got hit and it was seemingly nothing that did it I obviously am missing things, but it, it, it is, I will say to people, it is a hell of a lot easier to miss some of these obvious things when you're doing commentary. I know that that's like an out that pretty much anyone can use. Like, oh, well, I was commentating, so that's why I played bad. But honestly, your focus is pulled a little bit, so it can happen. Right. That was a bad bomb, but who cares? Okay, even with the boss armor, the amount of flies we've got going on right now is going to kill him. Also, remember, bombs do go through boss armor. So, that means the orange flies that are, that are zooming towards him, they are going through boss armor. Um, and on top of that, the bombs that we're firing themselves are also going through boss armor too. Ooh, one thing I need to test, actually. Let's just try and get... Um... Yeah, that's good damage there. I need to see if my orange bomb flies adopt my tier and uh, my bomb effects, because I think they do. Okay, let's go. We're still on 50 bombs here. We managed to go the right way first time on that floor too, which is always helpful. The pact is a must take. Set so Isaac's health to one heart container. No, thank you then. Ooh, Eternal Boy. I don't know what that guy's going to do. Okay, he just splits into multiple, I see. And the Lamb is a pretty tough boss, so let's get ready for that. Ooh, C-section. Hello. Nice. That's a big damage increase there. Getting three C-section babies every time we fire Brimstone is crazy good. And those boys are attaching Bugateers and firing lasers and doing all sorts of shenanigans. It's good. So, oh my god, that's a lot of damage. We should be pretty much set to go here. Oh my god, how have I not been hit yet? This is crazy. This room's mental. What the hell? I don't even know what this is going to do. Beautiful. So, 
it seems that we just overwrote the brimstone aspect of our build, but I feel like that's not going to be a problem. Ow. I think I got hit by some creep there or something. I don't know. I, I'm just always going to assume it's creep, and I'm always going to be right. we got to pop Snake Eyes right now, otherwise this, this room is going to damage us afterwards. Which, I mean, in hindsight, I was just about to say I'm going to get damaged anyways, but I didn't, somehow. Eternal Loki Boy is uh, doing his thing. Holy shit! This is like the best items I've ever got from the Dark Room. This is insane. Dark Room is popping off for us right now. Lots of Eternal Boys, but... They do not matter for us right now. Blastasis has got some boss armor now. He's he's a uh, he can survive, but he isn't not anything for our might of craziness we got going on right now. The craziness that we have, the power, the fury. Pop snake eyes in here. That mini bomb destroyed that dude. Ooh. And a soul of Azazel is like a good addition. The Ankh is a revive just in case as well. De bound to be this way. Is everything in this room dead now? No, not even close. Oh, it's not this way. Okay. I really thought it would be. Ooh. Chonky. Okay, there you go. This is a bit of a spicy room right here. Oh my god. Right. Uh, where, where did that soul of... Um... What the hell? Where's it gone? We had a soul of Azazel. Oh, we still got it. Okay. It's just a matter of the slot. He is eternal as well, so we're having a little bit of trouble with that, but the amount of damage this is doing is already incredible. Like, actually insane. Holy hell. We killed him with just that. Wow. Okay, that was pretty good. I hope you guys did enjoy this. That was a, a very fun one there. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.